a look at uh, doing inputs in JavaScript. So what I've made here is a, a straightforward project of how to add JavaScript inputs. So in this one you input your name, so I'll say Mr. Grimes, and I click submit, and it says, who's awesome? Mr. Grimes is awesome. And it turned, you'll notice it turned my name into capitals, okay? And I put in a sentence. Now this is a very straightforward input, um, and I'm just gonna talk us through how we did it, and then we'll play around with it. So, just taking a look, we've got two things that matter here, our index.html and our script.javascript over here at this side. So on the index.html, we have our first part, which is just your general setup, so just leave that alone. And then there's a very important line we must have, and that's here, to import the web page's JavaScript file. And you'll see there it's script uh, with src equals blah, 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 defer and close script. That line is pivotal in actually getting uh, and running the JavaScript file. So make sure you don't delete that when you get set up. Uh, then we close it off, that's our headers done. And then we're into the body of our text, which as we know is where most of the HTML writing happens. So let's just talk through a few things. Um, right, first off, you've got your header as usual, that's fine. Um, this is creating a paragraph, so input your name please, so fine. And what we're doing is we're creating a box for the user to input their name. And that's what these next couple of lines are doing. So what we have is, uh, I'm just saying the ID is just name. So whatever you put in here will be called name from now on. And when we click the button, submit, the submit button, we're going to get, uh, it's gonna run this function. And this function here is your name, open bracket, close bracket, okay? So it's gonna, when you click submit button, and we can just, just to show this here, I can change this to uh, go on. What happens if I change that? So, oh, there you go. And we can see I've just changed the name of the button. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll change it back to submit now. So uh, that's what that bit there is doing. But this is just telling it to run this function, your name, open bracket, close bracket. And then after that, it'll print, um, sorry, it won't print, it'll do uh, awesome name, which we'll see what that is in a minute. So we've got a couple of things going on here. Now you can see that there is no function in this HTML, and that's where we go to our JavaScript. So in our JavaScript page, I've just basically here got a function from beginning to end, and this is the your name open bracket close bracket function. So what I'm doing is I'm creating two variables. One of the variables is called name, and the other variable is called text. So and this is a nice thing in Glitch, by the way, you highlight name and it'll, it'll show you all the names inside here, which is actually quite handy when we're looking at it. So if I take a look, um, get the, the value from the input field. So what's happening here is it's saying, right, document get element by ID name, that's capital N there, value. So what it's doing is it's saying, hey, go to the HTML and get this value whatever that value is that someone put in. So in here, I put uh, XXX, it goes and it gets that value XXX, right? So that's all that bit there is doing. Next, it takes that value. So it's gonna write, it's gonna make this thing called text and it's gonna say, who's awesome? Close our apostrophes plus, and the name is there. You'll notice it's replaced, sorry, I'll highlight that properly. It's replaced, that name is that value it just found there. It has dropped it in. And it's saying to uppercase. So I've changed my XXX lowercase to uppercase. Let's just try play with that. Let's call that lowercase. Oops. So now I'm gonna say uh, Steve. And I drop it in and it's dropped it to lowercase Steve. So that's just playing around with very simple. We can find a ton of things to do in um, W3 schools, but for the moment we'll just stick with that. And then I close it off with the uh, add-on is awesome, and that's just a like a print statement in uh, Java. Grand. Then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this get document get element ID by name. So it's going to take this awesome name and it's gonna replace it with text. So it's gonna replace it with that whole thing just there. So in here, when we call for awesome name, it goes to the JavaScript, it looks for this, and it replaces it with all this text we just made. And that's why here when I go Bob, it comes up here of all that text, because it's gone 
to the JavaScript to find it, and then it's gone back to here and posted out. Okay, that's a very, very simplistic uh, how to do an input and get some sort of output on JavaScript.